I've got tubes. Murphy collapsed. He's non-responsive. He's got a temperature of 40.6. My biggest concern on a hot day like this is that he's suffering from heat stroke. So his temperature is actually going up, even though we're cooling him down. Once the temperature goes over 41 degrees, organs start to shut down. This is life-threatening for Murphy now. Just coming through. I've got you. Oh, oh, he's yeah. awake. Oh, hey, mate, he's awake. At the Animal Emergency Service on the Gold Coast, the team is dealing with an influx of patients from a heat wave, and bearded Collie Murphy has just been rushed through to the treatment room. Yeah, it's a hot day out there. <laughs> Dr Alex Hines and Dr Gerardo Poli start working on him immediately. Murphy collapsed, he's non-responsive. At this stage, we don't know what's going on with him, but whatever it is, he's in a lot of trouble. He's got a temperature of 40.6. Oh, man. As soon as we start to look at Murph, we realise that he's got a high temperature. And my biggest concern on a hot day like this is that he's suffering from heat stroke. The first thing we're going to need to do for him is we're going to need to cool him down. And the best way we can do that is get the hose and wet him down all over. How you doing, Murphy? You're still there. You know what's going on. Hey, mate. We still don't really know what happened with him, do we? He's been at home all day in the air conditioning. Um, OK. So he's not, he's not your typical heat stroke patient then. So his temperature's actually going up, even though we're cooling him down. We're going to have to do something else to try to get this temperature down. We're five minutes into the cooling process, and rather than the temperature going down, Murph's temperature is actually going up. It's now 41 degrees. Once the temperature goes over 41 degrees, organs start to shut down. This is life-threatening for Murphy now. Cold air on him. That will help. Is the temperature coming down at all? Like... Down, so it's coming back down. With Murphy slowly starting to respond to the treatment, Alex brings in his owners, Rosemary and Chris. He's my most precious boy. So what was the first thing that you noticed that wasn't right with Murphy today? That he was having more trouble than usual getting up. And when I tried to give him a bowl of water, he sort of half looked at it and he couldn't, so I got a spray bottle and I was spraying water into his mouth yeah. to try to keep him hydrated. Yeah, because it's such a hot day out there today. Yeah, we've had a fan, I've been spraying him all day. Yeah. That's when I noticed that his gums were really red. Yeah. And I thought, that's not right. Murphy has a long history of health issues. He's had prostate problems. He's had the lymphoma. He's had tick. The tick. He's has um, paralysis of the larynx. So he's defying he's the fighter. odds. He doesn't want to leave because he lives the life. Yeah. Chris and Rosemary yeah, told me that Murph's been recently diagnosed with laryngeal paralysis. That's significant because it's going to impact the way he's able to cool down. Dogs cool by panting. And so if he can't pant effectively, then he's not going to be able to cool his body down. Really what we'll be trying to do is to see if we can get that temperature down, yeah. get him stable we're going to transfer Murph into the intensive care unit because he's going to need the highest level of supportive care and a nurse with him around the clock. He's a brave boy, OK? Well, Mama, you going to be better? I'd love to be able to give Chris and Rosemary some reassurance, but Murph is in really bad shape. And I don't know if he's even going to make it through the night. If, if it goes wrong, then... At least he went out trying. All right, baby. De Murphy is still in intensive care after collapsing at home with a dangerously high temperature. It's not great news this morning for Murph. He's now on oxygen. We're nebulising him to try and open up some of his airways. He's really flat and he has made no attempt to get up. He's just right down the end there. It's been an anxious time for Murphy's owners, Rosemary and Chris, being separated from their much-loved boy. Angel, that's my most precious boy. I love I think it'll be really good for Chris and Rosemary to spend some time with Murph, and I'm hoping it's going to lift Murph's spirits as well. I don't feel well. I want to go home. I know. 
I want to go home. After that, they're going to meet with internal medicine specialist Pete Barron about the x-rays that he took this morning, but it's not good news. There's certainly changes in his lungs. Now, instead of the lung being air-filled, there's pus and fluid building up in there. Uh, he's got a degree of laryngeal paralysis, and I think that that's predisposed him to aspiration pneumonia. Aspiration pneumonia is a very serious disease, and we definitely see animals who pass away with this condition. I really can't face that. I hope he makes it to his 40th birthday. That's what I really want. Just like in humans, pneumonia is really serious, particularly in the elderly. Murph's like a 90-year-old man. So if he's suffering from pneumonia, this could be life-threatening. Murphy has been put on an immediate course of antibiotics, and the next 24 hours will be critical. You all right? Mummy and Daddy how we're going home now. Owners Rosemary and Chris are staying optimistic their boy will pull through. You know, it's not great news, but at least... It's not great news, at least it's something It's something, something. exactly. Yeah. It's something that we know um, we've got a plan now, yeah. and we can just see how we it's respond to the antibiotics. You know, my dogs are always my puppies. It's like so many people with their children, he's still my puppy. Murph is a fighter, and he wants to get as much out of this life as he possibly can. It's OK. You hang in there. Hey, mate, you're having a sleep. That's not what I hear. I hear you've been barking the place down. It's been almost 24 hours since Murphy was rushed into the animal emergency hospital on the Gold Coast, barely conscious. You look a bit brighter than the last time I saw you. I think your mum's going to be very happy when she sees you. He's come off his oxygen and that's a big milestone because while he's on oxygen, he can't go home. So getting him off oxygen, getting him up and around, having him eating, these are all the boxes we want to be ticking and he's just, he's doing all the right things. Good boy! Can you walk? Come on, you can do it. When he came in, he was flat out, he was non-responsive. He's a good boy. Oh, oh, couple of steps. He's now able to get up, walk around with some assistance. You know, that's a huge improvement just in a really short space of time. Hey, he takes a lot of energy when you're an old fella, isn't it? Hey? Murph just keeps defying the odds. We really thought for this boy, this could be the end of the road. And he's just shown he's not ready to go. He wants to get home. Come on, Miss. Can you, do you want to get up and have one more go? Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Yeah, you can. Oh, it's so hard on this floor. I know. How are we going to get you back to bed? And then we have to carry you back to bed. People might look at Murph and think, gosh, he's still really struggling to get around. But these steps, these little steps, are really quite significant for him. And you know, this is progress. That's it. Good boy. There we go. Baby steps. Keep going. Don't give up now. Good boy. OK. That was a big effort, wasn't it? I think Rosemary and Chris had almost prepared themselves that Murph may not go home, that this might be, you know, the final thing for him. Murph had other ideas. He's a real fighter, this boy, and I think they're going to be over the moon when they see him up and about, and he just wants to go home now. Okay. You've got to get strong. You've got to get strong for your mum. Rosemary and Chris have arrived, anxious to take home their beloved old boy, Murphy. Hello. Hi, hey, how are, how are you? you? Are you ready? Today's the day. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it great? Ready for your boy to go home. You've yeah. done such an incredible yeah. job, especially the ladies down nice of you. They yeah. are amazing. He has they become such great. a favourite, but he's... Murph has really found his voice today. He, I heard. <laughs> yeah. I'm I think, not happy. I want to go home. Yes. That's what he's been saying, and yes. so the girls are like, let's yeah. get him, let's get him, him home. Take him so, away. Take <laughs> him away. Rosemary and Chris are determined to take Murph home today. Most owners, I would say, would not be able to look after a dog at home in this condition. But these guys are extraordinary owners and they will give him round-the-clock care. Maybe the key is some love at home. Oh, he looks like he's sound asleep. <laughs> We're going to give him a bit of a surprise, I think. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. I hear you've been giving everyone a hard time. You want to go home? Time to go. One, two, three. Put those back on here, get the balance. Get a little bit of circulation to those legs. Good boy. 
So Chris and I get Murph to his feet and he's a bit shaky. Slippery, slippery. Oh, I don't like so this. so hard on the slippery floor, isn't it? It was unbelievable. He just started to take steps by himself. I don't like to use the word miraculous, but this was a miracle. Yeah, you were determined you were going to walk out of here on your own, weren't you, Murph? He's like, I don't need a trolley. I've got four legs. As we're going down the corridor, it's just the most extraordinary moment. He's going faster, he's getting stronger. Look at him, look at that! Yeah! I just felt like cheering him on. Go Murph! Come on, let's go! Good boy! That's it, one leg in front of the other. God, that's so good! So good! I did not expect him to walk out and I don't think Rosemary and Chris did either. It is just the most extraordinary moment. Look at you. You surprised me. You surprised me, you did. Okay. He just showed us when he put his mind to it, yeah. there was nothing gonna stop him. He was gonna get, he was gonna walk out of there on his own. Yeah. It's incredible. It really is. It's a great day for Murph. Team Murph. That was what it was. Team oh, Murph. Look at that face. Really good. He's a star. <laughs> he is a star. It's moments like this that I really believe in the power of love. There's not a single person in this hospital that hasn't been touched by what's happened today. All right. Thank you very much. See you later. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go and subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to watch more great content. Or for new, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, all you have to do is sign up at bondipet.com and we'll send you a link. We can't wait to see you there.